Hello beautiful internet family, Dan here from danstube.tv and today I'm going to tell you guys a little story about when I nearly lost the Mavic Mini. Now I only just picked this up last week and I was super excited to get it out. I've released my Before You Buy video and I'm actually working on the review as well and I've got a few other video ideas for the Mavic Mini but I took it out and I nearly lost it. Now, I've never had any issues with any of my other drones before. Uh, for people out there who don't know, I'm actually a commercial drone pilot and I've been flying drones for years now. I've never had any issues. I'm really careful when I fly. I'm also quite confident as well because I know how uh, powerful and safe these units are and all of the technology that's crammed into DJI drones. It pretty much just makes it impossible to actually crash the thing unless you have an error or unless some crazy, ridiculous, unexpected event happens. But besides that, they're really hard to crash. They're really hard to have any issues with. And I think I went in flying the Mavic Mini with a little too much confidence. DJI have done a fantastic job and you have to take your hat off to them because this thing weighs 249 grams, it shoots 2.7K video, has a 3-axis gimbal and folds to pretty much the same size as most smartphones, if not smaller than most smartphones on the market right now. Actually, I would say it's smaller than pretty much most smartphones on the market right now when it's folded up into this compact little size here. Now that's amazing, right? The thing really does weigh nothing, and that's where I think I had my issues, because I was really confident flying this thing, I've flown drones for a very long time now, and basically the first time that I had an issue with it was on the first day I actually flew it. It was an extremely windy day, I took it up and I took it pretty slowly at first, everything was fine, didn't seem to have any issues, it did kind of move around a lot in the wind, so normally DJI drones will either like lean into it or they'll kind of counter a little bit. This little Mavic Mini was actually moving around quite a lot, like it was almost like this. It was just moving side to side, back and forth quite a lot. It was struggling to hold its position, but it was doing an amazing job considering how small the unit is itself. And then basically what happened is I took it up, started flying, it was draining the battery significantly, and that's another thing I wanna talk about. They say you get 30 minutes of battery life, I think that's really unrealistic. I think I've only honestly got about 20 minutes. And immediately when you put the battery in, turn it on, it starts discharging immediately. It's straight down to 98% as I've turned the unit on and put it down and I'm about to fly. And then it just gradually drains more. And then basically it started immediately draining the battery. And what happens, it went into return to home. Didn't give me any sort of prompt or warning. It just immediately went up and it had trees above it and obviously there's no other sensors besides the vision positioning sensors underneath. So it starts going up, hits into a tree, which I have some footage on now, and it starts like struggling, falling down, going back up again. So I had to like quickly cancel it, had major issues there, luckily nothing too bad happened. And because I had the prop guards on, I was flying in like a secluded little area with lots of trees around, I started flying through little tight gaps just to show you what you can actually get out of a drone of this size. And then I started flying a little bit higher. I got to the point where I was just above the tree line and my drone just got taken. It literally got taken away. I'm having like a heart attack then and there in the moment, trying to pull it back to me. Luckily I got it back. Luckily it didn't hit a tree and get caught up and I would have lost it completely. So that was something really worrying. Do not use the prop guards unless you're inside or in a really like secluded, uh, well protected kind of area because straight when I went above the tree line it just pulled it away. So that's something to be really careful of. Uh, most other larger drones don't have that issue but I'm guessing it's such a small lightweight drone and the extra weight of the prop guards and obviously not as aerodynamic uh, having the prop guards on so it just kind of dragged it away. So they were the two like major, major issues that I was like terrified by. And then the other thing was on the first day when I flew, um, I tried to fly this unit back and because it was, it was quite windy and basically I'm trying to fly towards the actual wind itself, which is something that uh, normally all the other drones I've, I've used in the past, I've had no issues because at like 30% I'll start flying it back, everything's fine. I had this thing in sports mode trying to fly it back and it was literally going on an angle, it was going off to the left. So I'm trying to fly it back and it's actually drifting to the left the entire time, draining the battery significantly. Luckily I got it back 
just before it started trying to go into return to home. Um, I think it actually went into return to home and then I cancelled it and landed it myself. So again, one of those things that you just have to be really careful with. This unit weighs nothing, it can get dragged by the wind and you want to make sure, luckily I was flying kind of towards the wind even though like, sorry, I was flying with the wind even though it was blowing me to the left a little bit. I was flying with it so it was kind of pulling me back on an angle. So you've just got to be really careful and really mindful of this little thing. Yes, it's a DJI product. Yes, it's really reliable, but I would not recommend it in, in really any sort of wind that you'd feel a little bit uncomfortable with. Um, I was a little too confident, obviously. And then the other issue was the prop guards. Just be mindful not to fly above the tree line if it is quite windy and there's a lot going on up there. Because this thing is small, birds seem to like it, it seems to get dragged in the wind, and it weighs nothing, so it makes sense that it is um, struggling with any sort of wind. But honestly, it did an amazing job overall. I was really impressed that it actually came back to me. Straight when I put it into sports mode, it just flew back and everything was fine. But just a little quick video to let you guys know that the Mavic Mini is extremely powerful, it's extremely reliable, but it also weighs nothing and the wind is its worst enemy. So just be careful when you're out and about flying this drone and be mindful of other people when you're flying because yes, this thing weighs nothing, um, but it's very easy to just get pulled away by the wind and then you've completely lost the drone and it could go to, you know, towards someone's house or to the road or whatever it may be. So just be careful out there. Happy flying. I'll chat to you guys in another video very soon, I'm very sure. So chat to you then and peace out.